Hi guys! Most men like guns and killings, especially in computer games. Real guns, however, are not toys and require lots of care and attention. You should never joke around when it comes to guns. Unfortunately, people are always trying to create better weaponry, trying to make it more fast, powerful and deadly. So today we're gonna have a look at some really powerful ones. In the pursuit of creating the largest and most powerful weapon in the world, the American engineers have created a very interesting hunting pistol. It was created by people from Triple Action. The designers decided not to experiment with cartridges, they simply took some ordinary 50 BMG sniper large caliber rifle ammo. They called their creation Thunder 50 BMG. Naturally, it's a single shot weapon. Thunder 50 BMG is equipped with a muzzle brake as well as one of the rarest hydraulic pistol barrel recoil systems. All of this allows for a recoil reduction of about 20%. However, it is unclear how much this will help the shooter because it's still a very big and powerful weapon. In the moment of the shot, the flame bursts out of the slot and it sometimes reaches 5 meters from the barrel. If you're not careful enough using this gun, it can pretty much break both of your hands. This is a 95 caliber super rifle created by SSK Industries. In fact, it would be more correct to call this weapon a kind of cannon, because its barrel has a diameter of 0.950 inches. There were only three copies of this rifle created, one of them weighing 50 pounds, and the other two 110 pounds. The muzzle velocity is 440 ms. And the recoil energy is 38 kilojoules, which is 10 times more than your usual 7.62 caliber rifle. Well, the cartridge is indeed monstrous looking. Each bullet costs about $40. This weapon was created in the 90s. Cord is a pretty lightweight weapon. It is very precise and relatively compact. And for its weight category, it's practically weightless. The body of the machine gun weighs about 55 pounds. The tape includes 50 rounds. In addition, the weapon can be used from a bipod or, or a tripod. Cord is designed to fight light armored targets and weaponry. It destroys enemies at a range up to 6,500 feet and hits air targets at a mile range. In order to improve the accuracy, the weapon can be equipped with optical night sights. There's even a tank version of this gun, and it's usually installed on anti-aircraft T-90 turret. How ridiculous can a person's passion for giant things go? Apparently it has no limits. Nowadays the largest shotgun looks like a bad joke from the 19th century, but it's nevertheless a real weapon that has been used regularly. It's called Pun Gun, if you pardon the pun, and it helps hunters kill up to 50 ducks in one shot. This gun has titanic proportions. It's like a real artillery piece. It was made in a way that the hunters didn't have to spend too much time aiming it. One shot was enough to kill a few weak supplies of duck. Each of these guns were made in order or in small batches, so it never entered the mass market. I wonder why. Usually, what they do with it, they threw half a kilogram of shot and a fair amount of gunpowder. Now, obviously, there was no way anyone could just carry it in their hands, going around casually shooting ducks. So, they would usually attach those to hunting boats. It was easy to point the gun, but it required quite a bit of skill still. The hunter would point the boat towards the flock, correcting the direction of the shot with oars. A successful hunter could knock out up to 50 ducks with a single shot, mercilessly killing an entire flock. Can you believe it? So I guess that was more like a, a war gun or something. Something you want to install on a warship. Some maniacs even put several guns on one single boat. Judging by the size, it seems like this thing produced a noise enough to kill all living things around with just a sound. AA-12 is considered to be one of the best automatic shotguns out there. The AA-12 is packed with all the best features of a combat shotgun. 
it can fire 5 12 gauge rounds per second. And despite such enormous destructive power, it's got minimum recoil, which also allows one handed shooting possible. This is a fully automatic shotgun with a drum and stainless steel receiver, which also means that this is a self cleaning shotgun. The AA-12 can also use the 3 inch frag 12 rounds, which allows for accurate shooting at a distance of approximately 600 feet. This one already proved itself on the battlefield. It was tested by the US Marine Corps, and they also mount them on autonomous helicopters. By the way, many filmmakers seem to like the look of it very much. Here we have the largest 20mm rifle in the world. It's a 20mm from Anzio Ironworks Corp, and it's a non-automatic single-shot weapon with detachable reloading bolt. Its rotary shotter is connected to the shoulder rest. This weapon was designed using light materials and that's why, despite the caliber and impressive size, it isn't very heavy. Anzio Ironworks produces a series of heavy sniper rifle chamber for the M61 Vulcan 20 by 102 mm aircraft cannon. The projectile speeds up to 1030 meters per second and with a weight of 3.5 ounces its muzzle energy is 57.53 kilojoules. The Anzo rifle can shoot as far as 1.8 miles. The cost reaches $20,000 and it's a very popular weapon both in military and the private sector. This thing can easily pierce armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles and other light armored vehicles. So I guess we can call it one of the most powerful long range sniper rifles in the world. By the way, it is also one of the best modern anti-tank rifles. Minigun uses 7.62 by 51 cartridges. The main feature of this machine gun is its incredible speed along with a super fast rate of fire, which is about 6000 rounds per minute. They use miniguns as heavy weaponry and install them on helicopters and ground vehicles. Unlike most conventional weapons, a minigun isn't capable of instantly opening fire. First of all, the barrel block must spin up to the required speed, although it usually happens much faster than they show in films. The rotation speed is set by the shooter, and it determines the rate of fire. The minimum is 3000 rounds per minute, and the maximum is 6000. The rotation of the block is carried out due to electric drive, so the machine gun requires a battery. The cartridges are fed by a long belt put in a special box. The capacity of the tape ranges from 1.5 thousand to 10 thousand rounds. The machine gun weighs 65 pounds. 6 kilo Piper Zeliska is an absolute leader when it comes to powerful revolvers. This Austrian revolver is so huge that you might think that it isn't real, but it was made by a small company in 1955 when they got offered the sketch from Adolf Selis, a local gun enthusiast. It's got that extra powerful 600 Nitro Express cartridge. It appeared in mass production in Britain at the end of the 19th century. They primarily used it to hunt elephants and rhinos. That's why they call it elephant cartridge. For almost 100 years, 600 Nitro Express remained the most powerful hunting weapon. Its muzzle energy exceeds 10,000 joules, believe it or not. One cartridge costs about 100 bucks. In the manual, they mention that one shot is enough to put down an elephant, or even to stop an attacking lion. Although there is a minor throwback. The thing is, many people's ears and noses bleed after they shoot. Usually, they load double barrel fittings with those. They try shooting from a distance of 100 meters at least. The cost of one single bullet is $100. First prototypes of this weapon didn't have any means for recoil reduction. It was almost impossible to shoot it. A number of these revolvers were produced for several individuals. You probably heard about this one before. It's an automatic weapon and it's very quick. Metal Storm is a new generation fire shooter and it's packed with all kinds of electronics. And thanks to those electronics, the bullets get into the trunk without delay, even before the previous bullet leaves it. 
better yet, it fires a few dozens of bullets right away. And let me tell you, those bullets can put down a hell of a lot of humans. So, which weapon did you like the most? Make sure you tell us all about it in the comments, and thank you for watching, we'll see you later.